Sorry to bother you, but I have to tell you something. I passed out at work and I'll be staying in the hospital for three days. Oh my god. I'll ask my boss if I can fly back home today. No, don't worry, honey. Don't worry? Of course I'm worried about you. No, it's not that serious. I wish I weren't in Mexico for work. I would have rushed to the hospital right away. Do you know why you clasped? My doctor said it was malnutrition. I was trying to save money. Huh? There's some days I only ate a piece of toast. In other days, I didn't eat at all. Only a piece of toast? Yeah, pretty much. You have to eat more. And you don't have to worry about money in the first place. I only make $1,200 each paycheck. Unfortunately, I can't make ends meet. What do you mean you can't make ends meet? Uh, since you were transferred to Mexico, I've been living off of only my income. That's why I've been having a really hard time financially. But I send you $4,000 every month. Why do you have a money problem? What are you talking about? I've never received any money from you. Yes, I've been sending you money every month. Don't you remember, before I left for Mexico, I said I'd transfer you money every month. I don't recall. I was off on the day. As far as I remember, you were working the night before. I'm pretty sure we talked about our living expenses during lunch. I must have been tired. I probably wasn't listening. I've mentioned this many times, but you can quit your job if it's too much for you. I make enough for the three of us. I like my job, so I don't want to quit. As I said earlier, I do send you money. After you get out of the hospital, make sure to check your bank account. About your job, we'll see how you feel after this and figure out what to do. Um, I don't have my debit card. Why not? I gave it to Brandon. He shouldn't have it. What does he need it for? He told me he needed my Bank of America account to pay for one of his games on his phone. There wasn't much money left in it anyway, and my pay doesn't go into the account. I thought it wouldn't matter. What if he abuses it? No, he wouldn't do that. He's a good kid. But you can't just let him do whatever he wants. He was getting harassed at work two years ago. He quit his job because of it. And he lives with me now. Yes, I know that. But all he does is stay home without even looking for a job. What's he thinking? Don't blame him. He's still suffering from the trauma. I feel like at least one of us should be more understanding. But letting him do whatever he wants isn't good for him. You should be more strict and assertive. Yeah, easier said than done. If I were there, I could give him a lecture. <sighs> this is getting complicated. Now that I can't work, I'm not sure how I'll afford to live next month. I'll take care of our financial situation. Sadie, focus on your health first. Uh, honey, there's also something else. I'm $50,000 in debt. Tell me you're joking. I'm sorry, but life has been hard since you left. What about my savings? It's for emergencies. I spent most of it. Why didn't you tell me earlier? You've been extremely busy, so I didn't want to make you worried. Anyway, let's talk about it more later. I need to talk with Brandon first. Oh, please don't be harsh with him, okay? He's almost 20 years old. We shouldn't spoil him. But I'll watch what I say. I promise I won't be condescending. Okay, I trust you. Anyway, you get some rest now. Thank you. Hi, my name is Preston. I'm currently living in Mexico for work. This is my second year here. My wife, Sadie, is 60 years old, 12 years older than me. She's decent and reserved. I had a big crush on her and after busting my butt to get her attention, we fell in love and got married. Our son Brandon will turn 20 this year. He's quite selfish and a bit of a handful. After he graduated from high school, he found a job. He moved out of our house and it was good. It took a lot of load off our shoulders. But within half a year, he quit his job and started living with us again. Unfortunately, it was bad timing as I just got on my transfer orders. 
Since I left, he's pretty much been doing whatever he likes. What is worse, my wife lets him get away with it. I'm at a loss. My wife got pregnant after many years of trying on fertility treatments, and we had Brendan. I understand why my wife is so overprotective, but I have to get involved before it's too late to fix the problem. I texted Brendan right away. I couldn't believe what he said. I need to talk with you. Me too. What a coincidence. I heard old mom collapsed at work just now. She's just being lazy, hiding from the housework in the hospital. Good for her. Hey, aren't you worried about your mother? She collapsed from starvation. Yeah, I'm concerned. Because there's nobody to go grocery shopping or cook around here now. And I'm allergic to dust, so I need her to clean the house. Otherwise, I might get sick too. Stop thinking about yourself only. Take care of your mother. You're a grown-up man. You can do the cleaning yourself. Whatever. I got some extra money yesterday, so I can order takeout for dinner and maybe get a cleaning service. You mean the money for living expenses I sent yesterday, right? Oh, you know I've been spending your money? Oh, man. Busted! Why did you take her debit card? When I started living with you guys again, you got the transfer offer to Mexico. Were you listening to our conversation about the money? I just happened to hear it on my way to the bathroom. You mean... You knew I'd send money to your mom. That's why you took the card. Am I right? Bingo! Go give it back to your mom right now. The money isn't for you. Come on, Dad. I can't live on the money she gives me. Hold on. Do you get an allowance from her? Yeah. She gives me $500 a month. Since when? Ever since I quit my job. At first, it was only $100, but recently I've had bigger expenses, so mom started giving me a little more. No wonder your mother got sick. But I still have trauma from my old job. You should show me more empathy as a parent. It's been two years. Isn't that long enough of a mental break? Wow. That's a typical statement from the older generation. We are living in 2023. Do you realize what you just said is not acceptable? You are old enough to be independent. You're doing nothing with your life staying at home. This isn't acceptable in any era. I have depression and PTSD. My life has been tough. Did your doctor give you this diagnosis? No, I self-diagnosed online. I don't believe this crap. Mom does. I'll tell her you're faking it. I'm not faking. First of all, get out of my house. Be more responsible. Are you trying to get rid of me? Give me a break. Brendan, I'm serious. Stop depending on mom so much. You have to become more self-sufficient. I just texted her. She's in the hospital. Don't give her any more stress. I just took a screenshot of mom's text. Mom says, don't move out. She doesn't want to live on her own without me. I don't get it. That reminds me, she says she wouldn't be able to make ends meet if she raised my allowance. So I got pissed off and told her I'm fed up with my life. And I pretended to try and kill myself by jumping out the upstairs window. I guess she remembers. Did you really do that? Yeah. Our power dynamic flipped upside down that day. Mom does everything I say now. I'm the winner. You... It was easy to control and manipulate her. She just gave me money whenever I asked for it. What? Even when I was a student, I'd complain to mom about my small allowance, and she'd give me extra money right away. I've been saying to her that she shouldn't spoil you. I can't believe she's turned you into a spoiled brat while I've been away. You've been so busy. It's all your fault for not being at home, right? You should blame yourself, not me. I have a headache. Mom has to work hard to support my lifestyle. She fawns over me, but she's easy to control. She told me she likes her job. That's not true. She works hard to earn my allowance. She even used to send me money after I got a job. I should have talked with her more about parenting. 
It's all my fault. It's a bit too late for regrets. You know what? I'll do whatever it takes to get you out of the house. I'll talk to your mother about it all. Well, even if you get me to live somewhere else, your debt won't disappear. She told me about the $50,000. You are the one who caused all of this. And you're the one that got us into debt. You'll have to help us pay them off. Wait a second. It's not my problem because I borrowed the money in your name. Legally, it's on you to pay it back. What? I used your name because I had some business to deal with. So it's not really her debt then. It's yours. Did you really use my name without my permission to borrow the money? Yeah. I'm unemployed, so I couldn't get loan approval. How could you do that to me? You are the ones who raised me in the first place. Isn't this ultimately your fault? You are right. You've proved that I failed as a parent. Why don't you take full responsibility and support me for the rest of my life? And don't forget to deal with that debt. I'm coming home soon. We're going to have a family meeting when I get there. It would be a waste of time. But if you want to do it, go ahead. See ya! Can I borrow some money? Mom's not here and I need it for groceries and other stuff. I need money. I'm speechless. You're still talking like that. She is still in the hospital. So who else can I ask for help? Besides, she'd be upset if something bad happened to her one and only son. Are you okay with that? You won't get any money from me. You sent her $4,000 every month. That's for your mother, for expenses. Are you sure you won't change your mind? She doesn't want to see me miserable. You know that, right? I wonder how she will react when she finds out I'm dead. Mom's already out of the hospital. What? She hasn't come home yet. She must be in the hospital still. She flew to Mexico this morning. Seriously? How sad that you suck up all of her energy until she was an emaciated shell of herself. I wish I had known what was going on. Why is she there? Explain! Mom tried her best raising you. She showed up at my place this morning. She was crying and begged me to let her in. How did she get the money to fly there? I have her card. How did she get to Mexico? I sent her some money. How did you do that? I asked her to open a new bank account and then wired her $10,000. Really? I don't think I'll be home anytime soon because I have work to do, but I sent her some cash so she could live more comfortably. Throw some of that my way too! Absolutely not! I wanted to go back to the US to talk about our family issues. I'm surprised she actually came here. I guess she couldn't wait any longer. She actually left me behind. What kind of mother is she? You spent all of our money and put me into debt using my name without my permission. I can't even think of you as our child anymore. Shut up! At first, she told me she had borrowed money because she needed help financially. Do you know why your mother said it was her debt? When I told her what happened, she said she'd take care of it. She was gonna pay it all for me, I guess. Well, listen, she's changed her mind. Now? You didn't even go see her once in the hospital, did you? No. Nope. She finally realized she was just a money tree to you. Well, it's a little late, but I'm glad she finally noticed. I didn't visit her because I was a little busy. It doesn't make sense that she'd abandon me just because I didn't visit her. You are unemployed. What were you so busy with? You have nothing but time. I was worried about her. I don't think you are that worried. You didn't even know when she was getting out of the hospital. Fine. But it's irresponsible of her to leave me behind for that reason. We are your parents and all you do is take, take, take. I don't understand you. So what am I supposed to do about that debt? You have to pay, love. All of it. It's in your name. You can't change it. Too late. Actually, I called my bank and I've already explained to them that you use my name without my permission. So what? You're still responsible for the payment. I've also consulted a lawyer. If the signature analysis proves you forged my name, then I'm not responsible for that. 
You must be kidding me. Your mother hasn't paid back a penny of it yet. So I'm going to make you pay back the $50,000 with interest. Just be ready for that. I'm still deeply scarred from the workplace harassment. I'm not healthy enough to look for work yet. You are lazy at work and they told you off. Do you really think that counts as workplace harassment? Are you crazy? How do you know that? At work, didn't you have a classmate from high school? Yeah, did he tell you that? I didn't really trust you, so I called him. I can't believe you did that. I heard you slacked off whenever you had a chance, forced your colleagues to pick up the slack, and you just did whatever you wanted instead. I don't really remember. Stop playing dumb. When your boss found out and called you in, you got upset and quit on the spot. This is the real reason why you can't work, isn't it? It's true. I may have slacked off a bit. But I thought the way he lectured me was considered harassment in this day and age. There's nothing wrong in reprimanding lazy employees. It's not old-fashioned. Whatever! I'm going to call mom now. Too late. Dad, no matter what you say, when she hears her son's voice, she'll change her mind and help me. Mom got a new phone. What about her phone number? She changed it. And her email address too. And she got a new WhatsApp account. Basically, you can't get a hold of her anymore. Are you serious? Yes, she's done with you. Your mother said she's not gonna keep in touch with you. Is she there? Yes, she's here. Can you ask her for me? This is gonna ruin my wedding plans. I'm sure she'd care about that, wouldn't she? Are you talking about the woman you met online through that game you play? Yeah. It wouldn't be so funny if my marriage plans get cancelled because of you guys. Tell her to help me! Let me get this straight. You've got the $50,000 debt and the $4,000 per month I've been sending, and a $500 monthly allowance from your mother. You spent all of it on your fiancé, didn't you? Your mom told me everything. That's right. She runs a company and she needs the extra money to cover some losses. That's why I transferred the money to her. Are you saying this business owner needed your money? That's odd. For a startup company. She's been working her butt off to get things rolling. Well, I don't understand why you had to help her. I'm going to be her husband. I'm supposed to support her. Besides, she wanted to put some of the money aside for her wedding. I didn't give her all of the money for the business. She kept some of it aside for us. That's why you borrowed money in my name? It's pretty common that parents pay for their kid's wedding, isn't it? Well, I'm sure there are families that can afford that. In that case, why don't you consider that as a wedding gift? You can at least do that for me. Hey, have you ever thought you might be getting scammed? What the hell are you talking about? Have you met her? I haven't met her yet in person, but she sent me pictures. I'll send you her photos, Dad. Isn't she adorable? There's just no way she could be a scammer. Anybody can create a fake profile with free images online. You'll see. I'm going to text her now. I'll prove she's not a fraud. It's weird. She hasn't texted me back yet. She usually replies right away. Maybe she knows you're onto her. It's quite possible she's already flown the coop. That's impossible. Brendan, I'm not the cold-hearted man regarding your debt. I'll help you out. You don't need to panic. You're going to help me pay it off? Here's the thing. I've got a connection to a center where you can get the help you need. What are you talking about? This institution offers programs to help people get their lives back to normal. You can get your life in order under professional supervision. And they also help you explore different job opportunities. Oh, but you won't be allowed to use your phone or a computer. Oh my god, it sounds like hell. But you'll get paid once you find a job. You'll be able to pay off your debt in no time. I won't have much freedom. I don't care. You'll have to pay back every penny of the money you've stolen. You're financially stable. For you to straighten out your life, you have to face your punishment. You can't do that to me. I have to tell you one more thing. Your mom and I are selling the house, so you have no choice but to go to the institution. I had no idea this was coming. 
We had no choice. Otherwise, you wouldn't have learned your lesson, would you? Holy cow. Some staff from the facility will be coming to pick you up soon. You'd better behave. Dad, please, I'll behave. It's not something a 20-year-old man should have to say. If you want us to consider you part of the family again, you should think about what you've done while you're at the center. Oh my god! The center came and picked him up. My wife and I consulted the police about the fraudster who scammed Brendan. As the result of the investigation, the suspect was identified. She got arrested. But we haven't gotten the money back. Brandon has been working at the institution and sends us money every month. At first, we received letters from him begging for help, but lately, he has been expressing regret about his actions. His new life at the center has us relieved. My wife seems anxious at first, but she spends more time for herself now. She studies Chinese, does yoga, and whatnot. I am happy for her. Unfortunately, Brandon didn't grow up the way we expected. It is all my fault. You will continue to support Brandon until he gets back on the right track for his future.